Today we have a special treat. I'm here in the studio talking to a local care team in Queen Anne's County. And their job is to help ensure that children and families have the support they need in our wonderful county. So today we're going to meet three people of the many that help kind of bring this whole care team together. So we have Mike, Tara, and Carolyn. If we could just go around the room and just introduce yourself and tell us what kind of how you're involved in the organization. Mike? Hey, Bruce. My name is Mike Clark. I, in my role, I am, my official role's name is Chief of Housing and Family Services with Queen Anne's County, and that makes me the director of the local management board and also the chair of the local care team, which we're talking about today. Tara Morris with the local Eastern Shore Mobile Crisis Response Team. Um, my role with the LCT is, or the local care team, um, is to provide an, any additional supports that might be needed for the family or identify any needs that, you know, if mobile crisis can assist in any way. Hi, I'm Carolyn Blaze. I'm a family peer support specialist with Maryland Coalition of Families. And my role is to assist families in whatever they may be going through at that time. Mike, could you kind of sum up what the local care team is if people are interested? Sure, I mean, anybody that's a parent knows that parenting is hard. Yes. And life is complicated. So with that said, it, and for some parents and for some families, it gets even more complicated and it can bring up lots of issues in families. We, uh, most families have issues where it gets real intense at certain times. And the local care team is there for when those families, in, in whatever form they are, when they are trying to get additional help to deal with those stressful times in their lives, whatever those issues might be, when they're just trying to deal with those stressful times in their life and they need additional help or need additional services of any kind and just feel like they're running into walls or getting confused or getting lost or, or, or kind of being told, hey, no, go here, go there, go here. What the local care team is meant to do is just be there for them listen to their specific concerns, their specific stresses. And then when that happens, what, and then we have a team of 12, 15 people from all different kinds of agencies, child and family serving agencies from around the county to listen and say, hey, let's listen, let's hear the problem. We're so sorry you're going through this. What can we do to help get you to where you need to be? Right. And before we even start, I believe Terry, you were even saying one of the problems is there's so much information. Yeah, sometimes it, someone can be linked with a multitude of resources and they don't know who to prioritize and what to focus on and that can be overwhelming for the parent or guardian because a lot of times we're seeing more grandparents, great grandparents, mm -hmm. non-biological family members involved with these children that they don't know what to do or where to turn. Right. There's so many places to start. Yes. So this is a great place to start now. It is. Gotcha. To hopefully organize some things for them. Yeah. So maybe we can go around the room, but are there are there things that you guys offer or can do that people are like, whoa, I didn't even think someone could help me with that? Uh, right out of the chute, like we can, the first thing we do is that we are the one place we can kind of take all issues. So the fact that we're global, so, but the specific issue that I'm thinking of right out of the chute as you ask that question, as I look over at Carolyn, and is there's, we actually have parents who feel like sometimes they're getting the shaft, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. And she's been through it. Her organization specializes in the parents that have been through it, and they, they advocate and, and help families get through that. Right. Absolutely. We can help them prioritize what they're going through and help link them to resources that will benefit them. The application that you were uh, talking about, is that the same thing that's on the pamphlet? That kind of like info? It's very similar to that, yeah. It's, it's hey Chris, can we go to the, uh, the other slide? So they can, um, the, that's exactly right. That slide on the brochure, they're welcome to fill that out. And, and also, I want to note though that if there's just something that a parent or a referring person is just not interested in, in sharing or they feel like they don't want to give that information, that's fine too. We don't, if somebody's not comfortable sharing a certain part and they just want to let us know certain pieces, that's more than fine. Perfect. Um, and everything is confidential. Before we let people go and get more information on your website, is there anything else that we want to say about our local care team before we let them off the hook today on our video? I would just like to mention that we're made up of several groups, and you said, you asked me earlier as a joke if I could read them alphabetically, yes. Yes. which I can, <laughs> but I did want to mention that we do have um, the like different organizations that we talk about are like the county public schools they have a rep on our board and also the Department of Health and the addiction services have folks the development Department of Devel uh, Disabilities Administration 
um, Department of Social Services, um, CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates, Midshore Behavioral Health, um, our Maryland Coalition of Families here, here today, Department of Juvenile Services has a rep, um, as does the Division of Rehabilitation Services, our RAP Maryland, and then representing here today also is Eastern Shore Crisis Response Services. So we're well represented and we have, there's someone there that can probably answer a question any parent has. Perfect. If you're looking for more information, you can go to www.communitypartnerships.info to find out all you need about the local care team. They're here for you and you're not alone. And they want to help make your family stronger and better. Thanks for watching.